All right, welcome to Peak Performer. I'm Larry McGuire, work psychologist, organizational psychologist. Some people call it uh, IO psychology. Uh, some people call it occupational psychology. I'm essentially interested in the behavior and the performance of people at work. So some topics that fall under that umbrella. Leadership, motivation, what motivates us, what gets us out of bed in the morning, what makes us do what we do. Uh, well-being I'm interested in doing what we do but staying healthy at the same time upstairs uh, staying healthy upstairs and in our bodies as well um, I'm interested in uh, the mental skills required to produce our best at work but not work but this work must be of a particular value a particular must have a, a, a particular meaning and purpose to us uh, and to the world um, we're not doing it for ulterior motives like uh, profit and money and so on. Although those things might come, my particular philosophy is when we're doing work that matters to us, uh, invariably it matters to other people by extension. Uh, and by a consequence, then we get to earn a living in the process. I'm not talking about taking over the world. I'm not talking about uh, leaving a, a, a legacy because that doesn't matter. How could it matter? Because when you're gone, you're gone. Um, other people might have an opinion of you. That's nothing to do with you. Although it's nice to get some praise and reward. We're not doing it for that purpose. So work, business, career, jobs, uh, volunteering, whatever it is you do, sport, your family life. The focus of the material that I create on Peak Performer is uh, on how we might do our work to its most efficient extent and to uh, to obtain the greatest effect, I suppose, for ourselves and others. Uh, and then whatever comes as a consequence, well, then it comes. So um, my work is two or threefold, I suppose threefold. Um, number one, I'm a private practice psychologist. So I see people, they come to me and we work together to try and figure out the difficulties and the challenges that they might be having in their work and their career and their business and in their private life as well. Uh, you can't separate yourself from, you can't separate your work from yourself and from your private life. They're, they're the same. Wherever you go, there you are, so to speak. So uh, you can't leave your work on the doorstep, although you might try, we might try. It, it impacts our private life and we can't leave our private life on the doorstep of work either because it comes with us. And even more so now that the workplace and the home place uh, ha, uh, there's a blurred line there um, and a lot of people are working from home so uh, I work with people to help figure out the problems associated with the work that we do the challenges that we have in leadership and working with other people and relationships essentially that's what it boils down to um, so I'm a private practice psychologist working with people one to one I also deliver workshops and uh, talks on leadership and motivation and wellness at work and so on um, so that's one kind of chunk of my work. The second part of it is I teach. I teach people both on uh, in a classroom environment, but also um, on Peak Performer, the website, uh, where I have courses and workshops and so on that I deliver. People can access. You can access those um, uh, on a, a, a paid basis. Um, you subscribe, you get access to the course for life. Uh, or I also do live stuff as well. Anyway, so Peak Performer is a website a learning platform where you can access uh, course material and, and what have you. Uh, the third component is I create content, I write articles, um, uh, write books in the middle of one or two at the minute, uh, create this podcast. These are a, a means to spread the message and um, to get uh, the name and um, the work that I do out there into the minds and the eyes of, of people like you. So Peak Performer is a podcast that helps me do that. Now, what I'm doing today is kind of a, I'm jumping in a bit of a time machine. I'm going by, right back to the start, episode one. Um, I started this podcast a little while ago, but it kind of fell off uh, the priority list a little bit, got caught up in work and study and what have you. So I'm getting back to it now re-recording those older episodes and going back to uh, 
uh, right to the start for this particular episode because episode one went missing. And besides, it needs a bit of a refresh. And uh, what better way to do that than to get back to episode one and to re-record it. So uh, thanks for joining me here. If you're watching on YouTube or on Substack, you may well be watching on Peak Performer on the learning platform as well, wherever you're getting it. Uh, thanks for joining me here. Um, this stuff is free. Uh, there is some paid content, but uh, largely the stuff that I create is free. Um, the course material is uh, 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 commands a fee. So does my one-to-one -one work. But the content generally that I create is free to access. And hopefully you'll get some value from it. You'll be able to apply it to your own life and work and it'll make a difference. Um, the material, incidentally, that I create is based upon research and practice uh, of over 150 years in the realm of psychology. It goes right back to uh, Wilhelm Wundt, one of the first uh, laboratories um, to study uh, and to examine human psychology uh, created in, uh, in Europe. And um, Francis Galton, controversial figure, which I, um, I get into in one of the courses that you can access on Peak Performer. Francis Galton and his work, uh, his lex lexical hypothesis on, on the nature of personality and behavior, a um, really influential figure uh, uh, in where psychology went. So we draw on some of that really early stuff. And then we, we, we jump around a little bit you know, chronologically um, uh, uh, to different researchers and findings and so on to help uh, deliver you some information that may help you in your work. Um, uh, uh, more up to date, I suppose, um, content might be related to genetics and the environment and uh, the epigenetic process whereby um, our genes and our, our, the very fundamentals of our being, uh, of our physical organism, interact with the environment and how the environment interacts with us and how that changes us. And so it's a complex uh, topic to try and grasp and get a hold of because there's so much data and we never really get to, uh, we never really get a final answer. It's a, well, the game would be up if we did, um, but we'll give it a go and we'll explore it and we'll test it out. But there's, there's one thing is for sure, certainly for me and what I've found in the work that I do uh, in teaching and researching and working with people, is that uh, the basis of what we might refer to as success, what you might refer to as success, or what I might refer to as, a, as success, because it's different for every one of us, um, is founded and can be found in psychology because of our psychology of our mental, mental and emotional state are out of kilter, well, then the results will reflect that. There's no doubt about it. Take, for example, in sport, you take two teams that are on paper are arguably equal in terms of so-called talent and ability. Uh, their preparation is the same. They have access to similar funding, similar resources, <clears throat> um, venues and equipment and all the rest of it. And they train hard. Uh, they arrive on the, the playing field on any given Sunday or any other day of the week and they play the final and one team loses and one team wins. One team might even have been uh, um, the favourites to win the game, but they fail to get over the line. They bottle it. So what happens? Something happens upstairs. Something, ha something happens between here and here that plays out in their performance. And there's no doubt about it. Anxiety stress, uh, burnout, um, uh, poor leadership environment. All of these things influence the behavior and the performance of people, especially at work. So we talk a lot about work, talk a lot of people at work and our emotional state and uh, psychological state at work. We talk a lot about um, people working together and the nature of relationships in the workplace. And I categorize sport as being the workplace as well because it's pe people's work. If you're a professional athlete, well, then your sport is your work. You get paid to do it. Um, arguably not enough for some people, like in, in athletics and so on. But however, that's a whole other topic. So um, the workplace is of a primary concern. How, for example, if we are business people, do we get the best out of ourselves and the people that work for us? How can we create teams in leadership uh, that function well and get things done? How do we remove conflict at work between parties? Talk about how 
certain personalities have a negative impact on the performance of others in the workplace and what we can do about that. Um, I get into uh, motivation. That's a big, uh, a big area for me is to talk about and to examine uh, motivation, human motivation, what gets us out of bed in the morning uh, and moves us through the day, to paraphrase uh, the, the authors of self-determination theory, Edward Deasy um, and Richard Ryan. They write about this, have extensive research on motivation. And what I like about that particular theory is that it leans into philosophy uh, and not only um, philosophy, but uh, uh, biology. Uh, and it doesn't only refer to human beings, but all organisms. Um, something motivates us. And they talk about intrinsic motivation, extrinsic motivation and degrees of uh, degrees of that that operate within us, gets us moving. And they say, uh, Edward DC says, for example, you, you cannot uh, motivate people. People become motivated as a consequence of the environment. So rather than trying to think about how do we motivate, how do I motivate my staff? How do we motivate the players? How do I motivate this group? Uh, instead, we should be asking, how do we create the environment where people are self-motivated? So we get into that. You might even find that the current episode on that and some writing on that over on the blog. Um, so that's kind of me in a nutshell. Um, this uh, podcast and uh, also the video associated with this recording is on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. It's probably down here uh, to get notifications of when the next video is out. Um, I'll also producing. I'll also be producing shorter clips. Um, give you little takeaways, little short, snappy stuff um, that you can uh, maybe access on Instagram or TikTok. I have to figure them platforms out, to be honest with you, but uh, we'll see how it goes. But for now, Substack, you can get this stuff, YouTube, uh, Peak Performer, and anywhere podcasts, good podcast players, anywhere a good podcast are played, you'll get the Peak Performer podcast. Um Humanperformance.ie is the main site. There's a good bit of writing over there. That stuff is generic. The articles are. Uh, they'll, they'll probably deal with um, they'll deal with uh, particular topics like uh, self-determination theory. I might write a particular article on that. But the more um, uh, actionable stuff you'll get on Peak Performer, which is uh, the learning platform. There's links all over the place. Human performance study. Down below, you'll get the link as well for the learning platform. Actionable stuff that you can uh, you can use today. And I'd often include a worksheet, for example, that you can uh, uh, execute and use to kind of dig into yourself a small bit. And um, for example, a recent publication this week was around managing negative self-talk, uh, managing um, automatic negative thoughts that tend to run rampant in our mind. I'll have a separate little clip about that, a separate episode, uh, episode 13 probably on that. Uh, and I'll endeavor to include a worksheet. And these worksheets are things that I create. They're based on uh, research and practice. Again, it's all based in science, the, the science of psychology, as much as, as much as, as insofar as psychology can be a science. So much suggests that it's not. Of course, it has, has its origins in philosophy, but uh, um, that's a quick kind of uh, overview of where you can get the content and what it's all about. So YouTube um, videos such as this podcast, all good podcast players, you get the podcast episodes. Peak Performer uh, learning platform, you'll get um, actionable stuff that's not available anywhere else. So remember that you want to get that um, you want to get on the email list, incidentally. You want to get that actionable stuff that goes out on a weekly basis, get over there and check that out. Got loads of free stuff for you over there as well. Link below. And uh, and that's it really in a nutshell. Um, I hope you'll engage. If you like this stuff, give us a thumbs up, post a comment, wherever you're getting this material. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to hear. Um, and start applying the stuff that I'm sharing with you to your work and to your life. And perhaps you can uh, see the change for for changes for uh, for good in that regard. And if you need some assistance with it, get in touch with me. Like I said, I'm a private practitioner, so I work with people one-to-one. -one. I can do sessions over Zoom. And if you're in Dublin, in Ireland, 
I'm at 15 Lower Mount Street. So uh, have face-to-face -face sessions there. If you have a small business or an organization and you need uh, uh, maybe some workshops on some of this, these topics, uh, give me a shout. And you're based in Ireland, of course, unless you want to fly me out to wherever, whatever country you're in. Um, I'm based in Ireland, so I can provide those, no problem. Uh, and that's, that's really it. The content, me, hope I'll see you again. Um, and uh, look out for the next episode. Thanks a million. This has been Peak Performer Podcast, and we'll see you soon. All the best.